everyone, this is Brandy Shampoo with Exploring Expression. Hi everyone, this is Brian Holt. And welcome, welcome, welcome to another product spotlight. So this is a series where I share some of our favorite games and board games and products that we found, not just games, but all sorts of things that you can use in your learning adventure and what we think of them, how to play them, and uh, and that's that's what we do. So before we get started, what do we need to do? Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. There you go. So that you can be sure to keep track and be aware anytime a new video comes out, not just our product spotlights, but we also do check out this book where we read children's books and we have great videos on how I plan and run and homeschool and do all sorts of fun and exciting things. So today we have something a little bit different. And so my niece is here with me um, for an unboxing, an unboxing video. This is what happened. Okay, so I was at a homeschool conference. We were working a homeschool conference and across the way I see this man with this game. And I went and he showed me how to play this game and you know how I feel about fractions. And I know how you feel about dice. <laughs> so, and if you guys love dice or fractions, probably more so dice than fractions, but if you love either one, this might be the game. So let's see what it's like. You wanna open it? Yes. Just rip it open like a Christmas present. There you go. Also guys, comment down if you will do the game or if you do the game. So this is actually an extremely easy game. It comes with this board, this board, and it has like positive things like math is about creativity and explore new strategies, all these little things on here. And then it has, you start there, and you go in like a bullseye fashion, and the first one to the bullseye wins. So it's super easy, intuitive, that you can be done with small children. Because it's fractions, um, I'm going to do another video uh, later, probably, um, about the progression of fractions in board games. I have several great games that we do for fractions. And this is going to be one of them, so I can't wait to dig into it. What do we have? Some dice, and we have some cards for the game. Okay. So, let's break open. I'll break open the cards. You break open the dice. And uh, let's try it out. So, I'm just going to tell you guys, I actually played this at the homeschool convention with the, with the, uh, the guy that was selling it, which is why I bought it. I don't normally just randomly buy games off shelves. However, this one is fantastic. So, everybody gets a little car piece that goes on your board. And then there's two types of dice. There's this giant green dice. And if you notice, all of these dice have fractions on them. See that? And then there's... A, a dice that has some fractions on here. Mm -hmm. And you know what this is? An X. Yes. This is a variable. So you can also do your math with variables. And whole numbers, by the way. Oh, no, it also has whole numbers? Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then it comes with this handy-dandy fraction conversion mm -hmm. sheet for some of us who can't just add or subtract fractions in our head. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those people that can't do that. So, so what happens is you roll all the die. Okay. And your goal is to get the number that comes up on your green die using your other die. So, okay, roll the six dies, move around the game board, or depend on the number of sentences created, the first player. So you roll the dice and see how many number of sentences you can make to reach three fourths. So how many do you have? Well, here's, One, three fourths. Well, here's three fourths. What mm -hmm. else can we do? We can do... We could do this. Yep, one half plus one fourth. That's mm -hmm. good. We could do one half plus, plus one, one half, half minus one fourth. So it's three fourths. Mm -hmm. So how many sentences have we just made? Two. Well, we just made three. Three. So you take your little car and you move it three spaces around the board. If you use all six dice to make like one giant bullseye, then you get to use four, you get to move four spaces. So that's great. 
move around the board first person to get their wins so what do i like about this game one it's short mm -hmm. and how do i put this sometimes they need short games yes not every game should be like monopoly <laughs> right um what else what do you like about this I like how it's math related with like fractions and it's just an easy quick game. It is, it is. And I'm a sucker for different sorts of dice. So dice that have fractions on them, I've never seen anything like this. And when I was at this guy's table, I just wanted to roll the dice and just see what fractions came up. So this is a fantastic game. Um, you, you would have to be past the point where they understand equivalent fractions and what to do with fractions. So what grade is that? Probably third grade, I would say, equivalent? Fourth, fifth, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or above. Mm -hmm. uh, anything younger than that, and they're not really gonna have that math concepts enough to play the game. Mm -hmm. But upper elementary and above, I think is fantastic. Yes. I think this would be fantastic as remedial practice for teenagers. Yes, seventh, um, eighth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even for adults to kind of stretch your mind and look at things in new ways. So I think it's a fantastic game yes. and we can't wait. Obviously we haven't played it fully yet because, well, we just opened it today, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we can't wait to go and share this with the boys and see what they think about it. Daniel, my youngest, is in fractions right now which is why i'm like laser focused on what kind of games can we find for mm -hmm. fractions and this is a fantastic one um so yeah do you have anything to add no that's that so don't forget to keep checking in we have lots of other things coming out and stay tuned because very soon within the next i don't know month or so a couple of weeks we'll see how quick i can get it made we're going to be doing a roundup of games that I have to teach fractions. So I have several games and several ideas and several activities in books. So I'm going to also be reading a book on check out this book all about fractions. And I'll include that in my roundup. And so you don't want to miss that if your child's almost there. Mm -hmm. And until next time. See you later. See you later.